Hey guys, Molly here. Oh my gosh, the side of my tooth actually looks yellow. I swear, it's not. Um, but today is currently Monday, August 20th, um, 2018, of course. Um, but I am starting this week's reading vlog out for you guys and everything. But I just wanted to update you on my reading, of course. So I am currently reading Spoiled by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. It doesn't have the dust jacket on it, dust jacket on it at the moment. But yeah. So right now I am on page 302. So I am so close to being done with this book and I am very excited to see how it ends. So there is a total of 360 pages. So I'm on page 302, that's what I said, yeah, 302, so I'm so close to being done and I'm very excited to finally finish this book, finally, boy this ain't Cress, now if I was almost done with Cress, I would be so, so excited Look at that I finally finished it and everything, so yeah, I am very I am really enjoying Spo Spoiled right now. It is one of my favorite books at the moment um, and everything. If I had to give it a rating right now, I would probably give it four stars and everything. So yeah. I know in my rating vlogs that I don't give that much of descriptions of how I'm actually feeling about the book at the moment and the characters and everything. It's because I don't want to spoil the book for you guys. I know that says a lot. It says a lot. I don't know what I'm saying. But I don't I don't I honestly don't want to spoil the book, so I don't really want to talk that much about the book and everything while I'm reading it in case some of you guys have not read it yet because I probably accidentally spoil stuff and I don't even know well I try not to spoil things so I don't really talk that much about books like about the books like that I'm reading and everything but I want to but I don't want to spoil anything but yeah, right now I'm going to talk about some of the, about the book and everything and my thoughts and feelings. If I spoil anything, I am so sorry. I obviously don't mean to, so that's just a forewarning. If you have not watched, um, if you're not watched, I mean if you have not read Spoiled yet, just, just forewarning you that if I spoil anything, that's not my fault. It is probably accidentally. I, I I probably accidentally spoiled it for you guys by accident. I obviously don't mean to do that and everything. But yeah, let's just talk about this book. So this book is amazing. Um, okay, it's not amazing. It does. I wouldn't give it five stars honestly because. It's not, um, it feels like a couple of things are being, like, left out and it's not, like, this, like, epic, okay, I wouldn't say not anything epic is happening, there is a lot of, okay, if you don't like drama, then this book is honestly, oh, my nose, Ugh. um, this book honestly would not be for you. Okay, this is annoying me. I'm gonna get my dust jacket real quick. I don't know why. Having the dust jacket on when I talk to you guys annoys the crap out of me for some reason because I'm just holding up this gray book and it's just for some reason weird to me. Um, and everything. But if you don't like drama, then I feel like Spoiled would honestly not be a book for you guys to read. Um, or anything like that. So if you love drama and drama is like your favorite thing on the on planet Earth, then this book is totally for you. If you love feuds be between people and like sisterly bonds and if you love like just any of that stuff in general and like you love like high school stuff 
and everything then this book would honestly be a great book for you to read because there's a lot of high school stuff there's a lot of drama there's a lot of feuds well not a lot of feuds there's like there is a feud between these two characters and everything and this book is just so interesting to me and i'm in love well this character molly um i kind of relate to her so much mm not so much but there's a couple of things that I do relate to her and everything um I I thought oh my gosh <laughs> so there's this girl Molly and her half sister Brooke um so basically Molly moves to LA because um um because her mother dies um that's not a spoiler because that's literally on like page 10 of the book um but basically her mom, Molly's mom dies and she has moved to LA and with her father Brick Berlin and she has a half sister named Brooke Berlin and everything and they like, you know, sisterly stuff. And so in the book it mentions um, a character being a Taurus and myself, I am a Taurus um, and everything and it said I don't remember exactly the line, but it said that Brooke or whatever was a Taurus or I don't I wanna know what the line was. Oh my gosh, I should have like marked it off because I was like, bro. Um said someone was a Taurus and then it said blah 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 Brooke and then was a Taurus Molly. Was like I am a Taurus. And I thought Molly was a Taurus? But I think turns out Brooke is a Taurus. I don't... I'm still kind of confused on this. Okay. This book, honestly... Um, the writing kind of confuses me a little bit. Because there is... Um, well, basically, this book... I don't know if it's in third person point of view. Because it'd be like, Molly said this. Or Brooke said this. Or did this and everything or whatever and I honestly I don't know if like um if it's in third person because it would be it has um basically it'd be like blah 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 Brooke said this blah 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 Molly said this and then it'd be that character's inner dialogue or something like that or um, one of the lines says, um, Brooke froze on the spot. This had never happened to her before, at least not without being elbowed the way from, elbowed out of the way from Molly. She imagined this exact moment a million times, but now I was here. Like, like, it'd be like, say, oh, Brooke, okay, for example, Brooke froze on the spot. And then it'd be like talking about like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it feels like it's in third person, but then it'd be like first person, third person, first person, third person. That's what it feels like. I don't know if I'm just confusing myself or what, but even in the middle of the chapter, I would I'd be like reading from like Brooke's point of view and then automatically it switched to Molly's point of view and I'm like, wasn't I just in Brooke's point of view? I'm so confused. So I don't know if this book is in third person or in first person or in second person. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think second person, but it'd be like switched back from third person, first person, and I'm like very confused on that stuff. And it, I don't know what it feels like. I don't know if it feels like third person. I don't know if it feels like first person. I'm just very confused and I don't know what I'm trying to explain but I'm trying to explain this and I'm not doing the best at it but if any of you guys have read spoiled then please explain to me why the writing is like this um and everything like I don't know or I'm just overthinking it and I'm just confused <laughs> so there's that um so <coughs> yeah so those are kind of my thoughts and my feelings on that book 
and everything. So if you like drama, if you like feuds, then this, and you like it, and and you like LA stuff and like celebrities and all that, then this book is the one for you. Since I really enjoy that stuff, so this I'm really enjoying this book. So yeah, um, nothing really else to talk to you guys about. Um, I will probably update you guys tomorrow and everything. Um, but my announcement video for Randomathon round five is going up on Wednesday for you guys, so you can get a look at the challenges and when the thing, when round five actually is. Um, but there, I already announced the days for it for round five on the Twitter, so I can link the Twitter down below if you guys are interested in checking out the the readathon and everything. It's called Randomathon, where I, me and Aubrey from Aubrey Joy Books, host it, um, co-host it, I guess, um, and we, I usually come up with the dates, um, I mean, and everything and some of the challenges, and then she picks some of the challenges and everything. I usually come up with the dates and everything, but I might really, I, I feel bad, because I'm like, I don't know if she's busy. She says, okay, yeah, that's great. But I'm like, I might wanna let her, next round, I think I might let Aubrey, um, sorry, I'm text, tucking in my undershirt that I have, tank top, because this top shows my belly sometimes and I'm wearing high-waisted shorts but the shirt is just short enough to show my belly and I don't like that so I'm just trying to tuck in my um tank top and everything but yeah so check wait okay it's this Wednesday coming up but you won't see this till Monday so Basically, the 22nd of August, you are going to be seeing the announcement video for round five, which is going to be already out by the time you see this, of course, um, and everything. So, yeah, it's already a 13-minute clip. I'm going to go and everything. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. So, it's currently 8.12 at night. I wanted to update you on my reading so I have just finished like um probably an hour ago I finished Spoiled by Jessica Cox and um I mean Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan um I gave the book four stars excuse me I really enjoyed the book and everything but I will talk more about the book in my wrap-up of course but so so far this week I have finished one book and I'm so proud of myself because at least it's a book you know one book um, at least a week but yeah so I am now starting um, Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule here's the book I was just a dust jacket I took off. I am annotating this book and everything. Um, so I have like four tabs in it. I'm on page 35. Um, I just had dinner. I had um, ch garlic chicken with garlic bread and um, noodles. I don't think it's garlic chicken. We used to have garlic chicken. I think he just, my dad just puts like chicken seasoning on it and then cuts it up and serves it and everything so I don't think we have garlic chicken anymore I guess I don't know but yeah that's what I had for dinner so I just finished that um I was watching some Netflix while I ate um I was watching Mako Mermaids um it's like a spin-off of IH2O the show um and everything so I'm on like season four um, but yeah, I am continuing in my binge watching of Abigail Haley's, um, reading vlogs and everything. So I'm now on reading vlog number 13. So I am like five seconds in and I just wanted to do this, do this clip and everything for you guys. So yeah, um, I don't really have anything else to update you guys on or anything like that. Um, 
but I think I will update you guys tomorrow morning. See ya! Hey guys, it is currently Tuesday, August 21st. Um, I wanted to update you on my rating and everything and notes and everything. So, as you know, I am currently reading Strange Sweet Song by Addie Roll. I, okay, I'm also annotating the book at the moment. I am on page, um, 46. I am just not in the mood for the book right now. Um, and I don't want to, um... Like, take such a long time to read this because I do have other books, of course, that I need to read in order to complete this readathon and everything. So, I am wanting to, to change out this, this um, Strange Sweet song with another book. And for this book, um, it is for Arithmacy, the Exceeds Expectation Challenge, and that is a book that ends on an even number, and this ends on an even number, but I'm honestly not in the mood to read this book right now, so I don't want to waste my time on the book when I'm not even in the mood to read it, so I'm not going to DNF it or anything. I is not a bad book I'm just I'm not in the right mood to read it right now so I am gonna go and figure out a um, another book that ends on an even number and um, once I figure that book out I will update you guys again and on it so yeah hey guys I'm back um, so I have decided on a book that I am going to be reading now, and that book is Radiance by Alison Noel. Um, this is a, um, I don't know if it's more than one book or if it's just a standalone, but this is from the Immortals, uh, series. Well, it's a little, not a spin-off but like a little companion I guess to um, the Immortal Immortal series by Alice and Noel. Um, this has to deal with Ever's little sister and what happened to her and everything. And so it's a little, I guess, companion book, I would say. So this book ends on an even number. It ends on 178. And so there is 178 pages. So I chose, I got, I literally, this is what I did. I have all those books right there. And I picked them, I looked at each last, like, like each of the last pages of the book and, and seeing if they were even or odd and if they were even. I put them in a stack and everything so and I got the shortest book from it all so I got to put those back now on my shelf and everything so this is the shortest book I am gonna be starting this book right now and everything and yeah hey guys sorry it is dark um so if I open my blinds on this side really bright that's not that's a little bit better but um yeah it's a little too bright with the big lines open so for right now it is just going to have to deal with this and everything Oh, everything's falling. Trying to balance everything. Okay, there. Oh. No, that didn't work. Um, okay. Hopefully that stays. Um, and everything. 
But yeah, my ear is currently, um, I wouldn't say popped, but it's like when your ear pops and then it's all like muffled and it sounds weird when you talk. That's me right now and everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you on my reading and everything. So I have finished um, Radiant by Alison Knoll or Noelle. Um, I finished it this morning and everything. So yeah, I gave this three out of five stars. I will go over more of this book in my wrap up. So I am now reading Crest by Marissa Meyer. I am right now on page 201. So I'm not half, I'm almost halfway there, I think. I can't do that. But um, this book is for the challenge of read a book that is not first in a series. So this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series and everything. Um, I'm really enjoying this so far. Of course, it is the Lunar Chronicles, so why would I not enjoy it? Um, um, oh my gosh. Something that happened between Prince Kai and his, I think, named Torian. Um, and they were talking about, like, Scarlet and everything. And I was like... Mm. And then they said something about Princess Lena. If you've read the story, then you know what I'm talking about. But, um, they were talking about Princess Lena and Scarlet, and I was like, um, and Prince Kai made this assumption about something, and I was like, honey, no, how do you know? No, you stupid as ever. <laughs> no, he's not stupid. But, um, I was like, mm, sitting there, I'm like, mm, no, 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 that's completely wrong. I was like, no, 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 um, and everything, but yeah. So, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, if I had to give rating, probably like four stars at the moment. Not a lot, like... Not a lot has happened. There's only been like one like actual like epic ep like epic action scene and things are happening and everything and I was like okay. Um things are start, like about to happen. That was earlier in the book. Kind well not really. Um it was like I don't know when it was, but like now we're getting to like everything starting to happen and yeah so yeah the other book I'm reading is the One Direction book by One Direction of course um I am right now on page 193 so I don't know how many pages I read I was I think I was like on page 166 I don't think I updated you on that I don't at least I don't remember if I did or not so, ugh, this, my ear is really bugging me. My voice is sounding very muffled at the moment. I'm not, I don't think I'm sounding muffled to you. But I'm not sounding muffled to myself, but it just sounds weird. Even though I'm trying to like swallow and like try to pop it back and it's not, and it's really annoying. Oh. <gasps> No, it just popped and I still sound the same. Okay. So my life's good right now. Hey guys, so right now it is 7-11 at night. Um, so I have finished the One Direction book um, and I gave it four stars. I, again, will talk more about it in my wrap up at the end of the month. Um and everything but yeah um i am reading crest at the moment well not at the moment moment but like i'm still binge watching abigail haley's um reading vlogs and everything and i am of course really enjoying them 
I am on her 27th reading vlog at the moment. I don't remember. There's 35 at the moment. She put a new one up on Tuesday, which was yesterday and everything. Um, so there's 35. I'm on number 27. So I have like several reading vlogs left and everything until I get to our newest one and everything. But yeah, for Cress, I am right now on page 219 i of course am really enjoying it so far it is a really good book um and everything so yeah um i just finished dinner we had my dad and i had spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread tonight for dinner it was very good as usual I love spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread, of course. Who wouldn't? Um, and everything. But yeah, I am going to be finishing up this reading vlog. And then, of course, I'm going to go to the next one. But after this one, I am going to be um, reading a chapter. And this chapter is a semi... It's a longish chapter. No, it's a long chapter. So after this reading vlog... I'm 12 minutes in, there's 38 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and read this long chapter and then again watch the next reading vlog, read the watch the next reading vlog. I haven't been doing that. Well, I've been trying to, but sometimes I forget and you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I actually um I was watching Netflix while I ate my dinner. I just finished season 4 of The Flash and it, oh my gosh, the ending, I knew the ending happened because I accidentally spoiled myself because I accidentally watched, I, okay, I didn't really accidentally watch it, like, um, a video, I think on Instagram, um, I clicked on it and watched it and it spoiled me for the ending, um, the very last scene, but, um, for season 4 of The Flash. Um, but, yeah, I, um, was, I finished that, and then I was watching Makeup Mermaids, which is a spinoff of the H2O series and everything, so I'm watching that, and I'm watching a couple of other shows at the moment, too, I just, I, I switch back and forth, of course, um, I'm gonna, I don't remember, um, I was say, okay, so I'm watching um, Mako Mermaids, Shameless, The Office, Grey's Anatomy, um, The Vampire Diaries, I'm re-watching The Vampire Diaries, I am on season 7, so there's season, there's 8 seasons, so almost done. Um, and then I'm watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and then I'm watching the movie Cabin Fever with Matthew Darby, Darby? I don't really know how to pronounce his last name, but he plays Alec on the Shadow Hunters and everything, and he's so hot. Um, um, but he's honestly the perfect Alec for Shadow Hunters and everything. Um, so yeah. Um, mm, so I need to finish actually Cabin Fever. I'm like. I don't know how far I'm almost done but yeah so those are the shows I'm currently watching and everything um but yeah for Mako Mermaids on the last season I'm already watching actually Mako Mermaids and then Shameless I'm on season 8 and then for The Office I'm on season People 7 say I am the best boss. season 7 and then for Grey's Anatomy, I'm on season 12. And then, of course, for Vampire Diaries, I am on season 7. And then for Unbreakable Commissionment, I'm on season 4. So, yeah, um, that's a little update for you guys. I will talk to you guys probably later or tomorrow. Hey guys, currently Monday. Oh, yeah, I never ended this vlog yesterday. Sorry about the horrible lighting, but this is going to be a very quick clip. I wanted to wrap up this vlog and everything. It was not on a Sunday, but it's gonna be on a Monday, but pretend it's Sunday. 
Um, but this week I have finished four books. I finished four books in one week. Oh my gosh, I never thought that was going to be possible. Um, so the books that I finished was Spoiled by um, Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. So that is the first book I finished. And then I finished um, Radiance by Allison Noel. And then I finished the One Direction book. And then the last and final book I finished was Cress by Marissa Meyer. Ah, I finished Cress finally. Oh, I finished it last night. Like, it was almost 12 a.m. Um, it was like, I finished it at like 11.50. So. <laughs> Every time I look at my bookcase where my book is with all, with Cinder and Scarlet and now there's Crest City with them and I just, I just, it brings joy to my heart and oh I can't. And I'm like I finally finished this book after reading it for a whole, almost a whole year. I. Like, when I finished it, I had the book open for, like, five seconds just looking at it at the last page. And I closed it, and I leaned it against my chest and hugged it and just smiled because I finally finished the book. If you understood how stressed I was reading all those books all at the same time, well, I'm so stressed with reading the same books at the same time. Um, but I was just overwhelmed with pure joy because I have finally finished that book. And I did all my updates on my computer and whatever I had to do. And then I put my book on my red, red shelf and I just kept staring at it for like 10 minutes and I laid on my floor and just looked up at the ceiling and looked at the book and I just smiled because I finally finished the book and I was so overwhelmed with happiness and joy. Oh, I... You can't even imagine how happy I am that I finally finished the book. I just... Um... And everything. So, yeah. That's my update for you guys. I... That's my chair being annoying and squeaking. But I am so happy that I finished it and everything. And I finished four books in one week how crazy is that I, yeah I didn't start them all in one week but I finally finished them so I finished I didn't read completely the whole book in one week all four books I finished them finally and I'm so proud of myself that I actually finished four books in one week and I'm like Oh my gosh, yes. So, yeah, that's my um, reading vlog for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. So if you did enjoy, if you're proud of me that I finished four books in one week, give this a big old thumbs up. And also subscribe down below to see more, more of me and my videos if you do enjoy them. Um, it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you are proud of me for finishing four books. Because I'm so proud of myself. Um, I never thought I would actually finish like two books in a week. But four books. Oh my gosh, imagine I finished like ten books in a week. Well, I could do that. <laughs> but um, also comment down below what books you finished this week. I would love to know and everything. But yeah, I will see you guys 
next week or in the next video. Bye!